So as you can see here, I am just at the uh, Google homepage, so the www.google.com. And what we're going to do here now is I'm going to click in on the sign in button up here in the top right hand corner. And since I either don't have an existing one or I want to create one attached to my at toro.edu account, um, I want to come down here and scroll down and I'm going to click on create account and I want to create an account for myself. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in my first name and my last name and then instead of getting one that's an at gmail.com I want to use my current email address so I'm going to click on use my current email address instead and then I'm going to put in my Toro email now I'm putting in my at tu.edu because I've already done this once for my at toro.edu uh, so I want to be able to do this for illustrative purposes and then I'm just going to go down and I am going to punch in a password and I'm going to confirm that password and then from there I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to hit on next and I never save these passwords because I think that's a security risk so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go over to my Toro email address and I'm going to get the code that they've just emailed to me and then once I have that code I am going to just type it into the box here and then click on the next button again uh, the phone number is optional so you can put in your office phone here if you're doing this uh, I tend to leave it blank except for my personal stuff I will go in and update my birth date simply because uh, that lets uh, Google know that I'm an adult uh, and you can add your gender there as well and click on next and then you should read through the terms of service and then click I agree um, and I tend not to allow uh, my internet browsers to be able to access other tools um, so I'm going to say not allow here and as you can see up here now I have my michael.barber at tu.edu account created